How's it going YouTube? My name is Sherbert. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the training grounds inside of Super People and what all it has to offer. Uh, so players can kind of just jump in and start honing and practicing their skills so they can apply it to the actual game. Now, it's actually a really cool little small island that you get to land on. Uh, and as soon as you load in, you're greeted by the 500 meter shooting range, which is this giant grass field where you get to load in and you know shoot dummies from a long distance away. We have a, a plethora of weapons to choose from. We've got DMRs, over here we have ARs, and then over here we have um, sniper rifles. It is cop copy and paste, so we are gonna see the same guns all the way down the line. So you can go over here, pick up the gun you want. Over here is gonna have sights, and then on the opposing table, you are gonna see uh, weapon attachments and such like that. So we do get grips, we get compensators, um, you know, cheek pads and things like that. And you're going to see a bunch of dummies that are kind of spread out across the yard. What's really cool is from left to right, they actually have different armor variations. So if you look to the left, the leftmost dummy has no armor, followed by the white armor. Then we have green armor, blue armor, and we have purple armor, and then followed by, lastly, the gold armor. I think this is a really cool addition that they added to Super People's Training Grounds because it kind of helps players figure out how many bullets require uh, to kill certain armor variations. So really, really fun. Highly recommend players kind of getting here, working on their, you know, their distance um, and the bullet drop, things like that. Very, 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 very cool. So that is the 500 meter training range. Now what's to the left or to the right? To the left of the training range or shooting range, we have the close quarters training ground. Uh, you can actually just click on these little red circles and you'll actually be teleported there to save you a walk or a drive you're more than welcome to do so. I'm lazy, I like to teleport. Uh, so this is what this has to offer. So you'll be treated to the close quarters training ground. Uh, behind it is gonna have all the different kinds of weapons that you would want. We have shotguns, we have DMRs, sniper rifles, we have SMGs and then ARs, followed by materials for crafting, followed by health materials or um, um, health and stuff like that, grenades, and then we have attachments and then finally armor. So there is all that. And then we actually get this cool little copy and paste, a uh, little community. And they actually have these little wooden targets that we get to kind of practice shooting. Uh, very, very fun. So you can guys just work on your angles, work on your shooting and things like that. Work on breaching buildings, work on your uh, crouching and your, and your leaning. Really, 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 really cool. Highly recommend um, this be utilized for, you know, just warming up. Players kind of getting the gist of, of the weapon mechanics, getting the gist of... Um, how just a close quarters battle happens inside of super people. You can also practice your air walking, different kind of jumps and how to get into certain types of building. Very, very cool. Really, really recommend it. Like I said, close quarters gets you up and close and personal because a lot of fights take place inside. So you want to get, you want to get used to, you know, being right up in somebody's face and shooting and things like that. So that is the close quarters training ground facility to our left. To the right will be the 50 meter shooting range. Very similar to the 500, just minus a zero. Get it? Uh, so, so very, very cool. Exact same armor variations, common, no armor. It's just gonna be a little smaller and uh, just really help with you lasering and things like that. So really recommend these three things being utilized for the training ground. Very cool. So get in here, work on that. Um, behind that, they are going to show you that there is a grenade training ground. So if you, if you want to walk, you're more than welcome to, I'll, I'll walk for the sake of, um, you know, showing the scale of the map after, if I can walk, I can't, I don't know if I can walk. So, uh, very cool implementation of the training grounds. I highly recommend every single player coming and checking this out. They offer cars. You can also walk, but if you want to practice driving, very short drive, I'm not a very good driver. You can tell I don't play driver a lot. So right up here is the grenade trading ground where you are treated with four different grenade variations. We have smoke, regular grenade, flashbang, and Molotov. So this way it just kind of helps you with your angling, works with your arc, uh, works with you cooking grenades. So you can figure out how long each grenade is cooked for, uh, work on you being able to get inside, you know, buildings. Really, really cool. Highly recommend this being utilized as well. So very, 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 very important. Over here is a little parkour course where I would like to see a little bit more, a little bit more implementation on this one, but it is a, a, a kind of a cool little parkour course where you get to run and jump and, and jump over buildings and obstacles and things like that. So if you're a newer player to Super People, it'll help you with trying to traversing the map because so much of the map is able to be, you know, parkoured on. They really want to make sure you, you know the outs and ends with parkouring. So cool little training map. 
right over here. I would love to see the implementation of maybe dummies or even just the cardboard, um, like cardboard targets to shoot. I would love to be able to start, you know, kind of progressing, working on angles, working on different variations and targets and things like that. But for what it is, it's a very nice little way to warm up. Uh, you have to crawl under barbed wire. It's, it's, it's fun. I like it. It's, it's, it gets your fingers loosened. Um, so they do have that. And then over here they have, you know, some ways to, to crouch and jump and nice little cool obstacle. And then over here they have this really cool little air walking section, which I think if you're newer to super people, if you're not familiar with air walking, it's when you spam the space bar while jumping and it makes you jump a little farther. So it does give you the option to jump a little farther. And this guy, it just helps you with your air walking for the, for the newer players. Highly recommend this one if you're if you're especially new to super people. This is where you're gonna get the most bang out of your buck in terms of kind of understanding the dynamics or the, the mechanics of air walking. So there is that. Uh, followed by that, we do have the boat training ground. Not, in my opinion, the most useful um, for your time spent in training grounds, but it is what it is. If you guys are are trying to better your your nautical ability, if you're trying to get your sea legs, this is where you would do it. You know, it's you're you're on a boat. It's, this is it. This is it. You're not really, you know, you're not really, uh, do anything crazy. You're, you're just boating. So that is over here. Uh, over here, we do have the cool, if I can get out of the boat, we do have a cool little driving range. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the mechanics of driving, if you guys want to get a little bit better with driver or just driving organically, they do offer cars all throughout the map that you guys can kind of get in test and things like that. So they do offer all these different cars for you to drive around and just, you know, do some laps if you just want to do some some cool little driving so they do have this again not the most like importance in terms of like time well spent this isn't really super high up in there however these next two things really are this next one right here is super mucho critical important especially for newer players and it is the parachute training now this is going to allow players to practice their parachuting and basically they're landing inside of super people. Again, if you are new to the game, you have to jump out of a helicopter at the start of the game and then land at certain objects or buildings and things like that. And this is going to help you practice landing at better spots. So we are going to see little targets all throughout the training range and you can kind of just practice hitting your mark. You can also practice like la actually landing inside of buildings. There really isn't a right or wrong way to, to practice parachuting as long as you're getting some, some laps in. So again, I highly recommend players trying this. Let's see if I can do it. So this way you can kind of just work on figuring out how, how to land quicker. Because anybody who knows, this, the better you land, the more chances of success you'll have later uh, in terms of getting those early game kills or in terms of winning the game. Now this next one is, uh, in my opinion, again, mucho, mucho importanto. Uh, so what I think is you can uh, uh, change your classes however you want. So if you want to practice, if you're new to the game and you're not really familiar with how, let's say, Seeker works, you can go ahead and choose Seeker. Not only that, but you can also level him up right here. So you can level up the skills however you want. You can go from level one to max level and you can kind of just work on the dynamics. So you can work on Seeker's dash. You can work on his heartbeat sensor. I thought my heartbeat sensor was four. Uh, you can do all that cool stuff. So that is what I highly recommend you guys doing. And that is probably uh, something that I would really prioritize, especially for newer players who are trying to understand the class mechanics inside of Super People. Super People offers a variety of different classes to choose from, and it's important to know what each one does. And the training grounds offer a really good way to do so. So that is the training grounds. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you can, be sure to like and subscribe. If there's any videos you guys want me to make specifically, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, too, I'll be streaming right here on YouTube. So be sure to give me a like and a follow and come in and just say hi. I'll be streaming all day today. So that's it for this video. I hope you have a great one, and I'll catch you on the next video. All right, guys. Bye.